What's going on everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's project is this steel trimmer and the problem is it doesn't always start. Now if it does start, it won't stay running long enough to use it. Let's take a good look at it, find out what's wrong with it, and hopefully we can fix it. In this video, we try and repair this trimmer. However, it may not be the exact repair you need to make to yours. We'll explore other possibilities later in the video. Steel trimmers are considered to be very high quality and worth the high price that retailers ask for them. You'll see them being used by lawn care professionals and by homeowners who want the best equipment for their yard. Now this trimmer was kept outside on a lawn care trailer all year round seeing sun and rain. And as far as I know, it was highly regarded by its previous owner, but unfortunately, it started having problems. So this trimmer starts and runs, but won't run for long, and other times, it won't start at all. A good place to start is the spark arrestor screen, which on this model is easy to get to. Unfortunately, it is clean and not causing a restriction, so that's not our problem. Another reason why your trimmer might have starting issues is if the air filter is wet with fuel or clogged with dirt, and unfortunately that isn't the case here, so let's keep looking. Let's try checking the choke lever, and as you can see it's working like it's supposed to, so that's not a problem. Now it did come to us with fuel in the tank, so I think the next thing we should do is try starting it and see the problem for ourselves. Before starting it, I do want to note that the primer bulb does have a tiny crack on the top of it, but as I've shown in a previous video, the engine should still start even with a cracked bulb. Luckily it started for us, but it died while moving the choke lever to the middle position. Let's try it again and see if we can keep it running just a little bit longer this time. Unfortunately, it didn't start the second time, but it might be from stale fuel in the tank. Let's pour out the fuel and see how fresh it is. This is probably the worst thing I could see when pouring fuel out of a two-stroke engine. It doesn't appear to have enough two-cycle oil in it, and it's finally destroyed the engine. The strange part is that when I pull on the rope slowly, it appears to have plenty of engine compression, so it should have ran. The only way to find out how worn this engine is, is to do a compression test on it. These testers can be bought at your local automotive parts store or online for not a lot of money. All you need to do is remove the spark plug and install the tester with the correct attachment and then pull the engine over a couple of times. Now the ideal number would be something over 80 PSI. Now what we do not want is a number below 50 as it indicates a worn piston ring or damaged cylinder walls. And unfortunately, this doesn't look very good as the number seems to be around 45 PSI. Let's try that again and see if we can get the same result. I hate to say it, but this test confirms that the engine was damaged by the improper oil to gas mixture in the tank. Either they forgot to add the oil the last time they mixed their gas, or they accidentally picked up the gas for their mower instead. I want to do one more thing though, and that's to remove the muffler on the engine so we can look at the piston rings. Whenever I come across this situation, I like to see the damage that's visible on it and confirm my suspicions. Luckily, the design of this trimmer makes getting access to the muffler pretty simple. Just remove the top cover and then remove the bolts on the muffler. Another reason why your trimmer could have starting problems is of course the carburetor. However, you must do some testing to confirm that it is the problem and not an engine problem. Otherwise, you might be wasting your time and your money.
Now that we can see the piston, we can simply spin the engine over it with the flywheel and move the rings so we can look for damage. If this is your first time seeing this, then let me tell you, it's not supposed to look like this. If you look near the top of the piston, there's some scratches and marks on it, and both rings are dull when they should be shiny, probably due to the lack of lubrication. There's probably no point in replacing everything back on this trimmer as it's now going to be used for parts or maybe a rebuild, but I want to make sure all the parts are all together if that does happen. So my question is, why do you think expensive trimmers like this last longer than cheaper ones? Is it because they're built better or higher quality, or is it because people who buy them actually take better care of them? I know how I feel about this, but I'm really interested in your answer. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. Please feel free to ask any questions, and I hope to see you in my next video.